What's up guys, this is Magnet Theater Help and today I'll be starting um, a bit of a Terminal Tricks marathon for the next week or so. I haven't done one of these in months, but I'm going to start doing them again. And you may say, what is the Terminal? Well, stay tuned to this video because I'll be explaining what the Terminal is. Um, I'll also be explaining what the text at the top of the Terminal when you first open it up, what all that means, and I'll be going over how to personalize it. So let's get to it. So before I explain what exactly the terminal is, we need to know where it is on our Mac. So when you're under the finder on the status bar, select go and utilities and scroll down and select terminal. Now it'll open up the terminal and here it is. Now in short, the terminal is a program on your Mac it kinda has that DOS like look that old computer look and you can use it to enter a command which will um, change or do things that you otherwise couldn't change or do on your Mac so you can change little options and do small tweaks with the terminal that there isn't any other way that you can do it without using the terminal now you may be wondering what exactly those two lines are when you open it up. Now when you read it, it says last login. Now that's pretty self-explanatory. On Monday, February 8th, tells the date and the time. And then on TTYS000. You're like, what in the world is that? Well that, um, to fully understand that, read the article that I have in the link, but it really goes back to when computers were older and a whole lot slower. So that's like which terminal we're actually logging into so whenever I open up a new tab hold on there we go um it updates that number right there so if I keep on opening up tabs it's just gonna keep on updating that number so to refer to fully understand that second part of the first line read the article in the um, and the links in the description now the second part it's just your computer name and then the username now the computer name may be changed this first part may be changed if you're like on a work network or a network that overrides the computer name and you're actually like logged in through a server it may actually be changed the network name but if you're on your home computer it should just be your computer name now if you're going to be using the terminal as much as we will be in the next week or so, I mean you want it to you want it to feel homey and personalized, I mean, don't you? So, to change the appearance and look, go to terminal, then preferences. And these first two tabs on um, this is which style it opens up in, and then you don't really need to worry about this bottom part. And then the encodings, that's very you don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Oh, and the Windows Groups is a configuration of one or more terminal windows. But you really don't need to worry about these um, last two. It's just this one. Um, there's different styles of the terminal, as you can see. And all you have to do is just double click on one. So just kind of pick whichever one you like. You can use, um, you can change the cursor, the text, the text color, the font. So it, there's really a lot of flexibility on the personalization you can make with the terminal but that's all for now um, subscribe because I'll be uploading for the next week or so um, lots of these terminal tricks maybe actually the next two weeks but subscribe watch some of my other videos and comment and rate thanks for watching